Hello friends, today we are going to discuss how to name different ranges and how to use those ranges in Excel sheet. So before going to start the lecture, I would request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos and lecture on Excel. Let's come back to the lecture. We have this table with header and the data. We have the data of different students and their row numbers and their marks. Now I want to create a name range and then give a name to that range. First of all, I would select the Ys and give them a range. The first step that you would do is to select the range to which you want to give a specific name and then go to formulas and click on define name. Here you can give a name to your range. I want to give top three Y students. Here I want to give some kind of description so that I can know what this range is about. Top three Y students of the class and then click on OK. Now we have created a range that contains the data of these three Y's. Now I want to create another name range. I want to select these two girls and go to formula, define name, top two girls students. Top two students of top two girls students of the class and then okay so this is how we create and name ranges in excel sheet now what is the benefit of naming ranges in excel if i want to add the marks of these students if you do not name your ranges then you would enter name of each cell or reference of each cell to add them up together but if you give a specific name to a range then you can write only name of that range and do the addition or some other kind of function in your excel sheet or data now i want to add some top i would write the name of the range here you can add only marks of the girl students now here i want to add the marks of wise students top three boys and close the bracket and enter so here you have the marks added of the boys range now you want to add two ranges with a with each other sum and write the name of the first range and then this sign and name of the second range and closing the bracket and enter now we have added the boys range and the girls range we got this answer now if you want to edit or delete the ranges you have given names too you have to go to formula and click on name manager now here if you if i want to delete or modify the 
top two girls student range i would click on it and click on edit or delete the edit option will allow you to make some amendments and the delete option will allow you to delete the name range so this is how we name ranges and use them for data calculation or validation of different functions in excel thank you for watching this video